Wow, what a time to be a wrestling fan. What's going on, guys? Boy, who's back again once again? And this time, uh, this video is obviously not really, I guess, uh, fitting for a channel like mine. Obviously, a lot of you that may be watching this that are usually watching me for a lot of the anime manga and comic book related content are probably wondering why are you talking about wrestling <laughs> well it should be told and in addition to that obviously power rangers i do cover that here on this channel as well wrestling has definitely been one of my passions and because it is so different and i guess separate from the other things that i most know I'm, mo I'm most notably known for I never really thought that having a wrestling channel in combination with a lot of the other things that I'm very passionate about and I do videos for, I didn't really find like any kind of overlap. And I mean, naturally, a lot of wrestling fans do like, you know, anime. And we have seen this in past examples where there are wrestlers that their gear is you know modeled after a lot of popular anime and sometimes power rangers as well actually now that i think about it i'm only doing this video today because i realized that the last time i actually did make any kind of relating wrestling video or content on this channel was back when i reacted to the hardys coming back um to wwe in in 2017 at that wrestlemania and i knew then that they were 100% gonna be there. I followed their careers. I mean, they're they're the reason why I'm into wrestling as at at, at all. Okay, they, back in the in the day. Okay, around the days of SmackDown and SmackDown Two on the PlayStation, um, one of my close friends got me into wrestling just by you know I was at his house all the time. We were just playing those games, and we we're always the Hardy Boys. So. And because of that, it naturally transitioned over to me getting more into wrestling, was just watching it on TV, and I was always looking out for the Hardys. Long story short, they were kind of teasing. There was a lot of evidence pointing to their you know, ultimate return to the big time WWE, right? And I cried. I literally was bawling, screaming. It was, it was an amazing moment. Um, but this video, obviously, we're here to talk about CM Punk, right? Now, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to, you know, try to front to anybody and, you know, try to even match that same energy that I had for my personal favorites, right? The Hardys. And they are the reason why I got into wrestling. But CM Punk has always been one of my favorites. And, and I feel like a lot of that has to do with, you know, him being straight edge you know he's all he's got the cross on his the 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 crosses the cross marks on his on his fists um i i have enjoyed a lot of his in ring work over the years i didn't even know about him until he made his debut in the ECW WWE and i always thought that he was a really cool character and i enjoyed him a lot i, I loved his look especially when he had the long hair right but what really made him one of my all-time favorites was obviously back when you know he was really starting to bring this very genuine realistic character to you know the the product of wwe and that at this point in time i want to say it was like 2011 if i'm guessing if i'm getting this right he was very vocal about the problems within this company and the fact that he was able to cut all those promos and be as on, as as brutally honest as he was it really kind of opened my eyes to a lot of the feelings that i was having back then even about wrestling within the wwe globe or however you want to put it and so when he was saying all those things i was very like wow like this is like very this feel this is like the most real i've ever felt watching wrestling not to say that it's fake i'm not one of those fans or i'm not one of those people that will go out on a limb to try to make you know people that enjoy something feel lesser than just because of whatever yeah sure it might be predetermined but we're not here to talk about that we're talking about the fact that this guy literally has actually 
and figuratively at this point for sure, changed the culture. With him now being in AEW, it sparks a lot of things. And this is, again, a huge reason why I wanted to talk about it. Now, I mentioned the Hardys being, you know, my all-time favorites. And when I saw them coming back to WWE, it was always a, a dream of mine that they would, you know, come back to where I saw them, you know, make their debut and 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 become who they 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 were and you know you know arguably who they are now um and and their icons and, and they're they're legends in their own respect and i cried because they were my personal favorites and it was very heartfelt now i didn't cry for when cm punk came back to professional wrestling in AEW. however i felt a bigger weight right and and the reason why i keep you know making this comparison to the hardy boys not just because you know for personal reasons but because i wanted to just measure and 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 kind of exemplify like how important and how meaningful CM Punk returning to wrestling at all really is. You see, when he left in 2014, he was hurt, he was unhealthy, and like as he put it, he was sick, right? And the place that he was working at ever since, you know, 2005, so basically what, like, is that nine it's nine years, right? That's almost a whole decade that he gave his life, his body, his 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 soul to, and he you know he's always he's been a guy that's always put it all out there, and he was trying to emit change. He was trying to bring forth the change, and just that just to bring back that passion, that love for you know what professional wrestling is. And kind of how he alluded to in his promo, which if you have not seen, you guys really should go and check it out for those that haven't seen it. But you guys that have seen it know what I'm talking about when he said that he left professional wrestling in 2005 when he left Ring of Honor. And then now in 2021, August 20th, he is back to professional wrestling. And that says a lot without even having to name drop WWE because what is WWE? What have they been you know, portraying themselves as they're not trying to portray themselves as professional wrestling. They're trying to portray themselves as sports entertainment. And that's been a constant ever since, like, even when I first got into wrestling, like full time, like I went from watching only the pay-per-views because my parents didn't want me at a very young age of eight and nine years old. They didn't want me watching such violent things. Right. But you know, by the time I turned nine, that's when I was allowed to watch Raw and SmackDown every week. And again, right before then, this was I was getting into wrestling right as WWF was transitioning to just being fully known as WWE. They took the federation out and they they, they got the F out, right? And they put the E for entertainment. And they've just that's what they've always been and that that it is what it is. They are sports entertainment. And because of that, CM Punk didn't even bring that up and obviously he also brought up that you know that if he ever offended anybody or he upset anybody over the time that he's been gone which was you know seven years that he hasn't been in a you know in a professional wrestling ring or or just a wrestling ring at all it's because he needed to take that time away to really heal and to find himself again and to maybe hopefully one day find that love to find that passion once again and 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 that and it brings me again back to the whole point of this video is that him coming back to wrestling says a lot of things and one thing is is obvious is that there is definitely life outside of WWE there is a lot of experience and a lot of growth that can be had outside of WWE WWE is has always been known as the big time it is like you know the the big everything in that in that you know in that space right with wrestling but because AEW now exists and AEW has you know really kind of shown a lot of viewers and fans and probably the talent alike that there's so much more outside of what we all have been believing has been the big time you know you get that that stardom that push if you get one at all the money the 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 fans all that kind of stuff like you know all of those things yeah they definitely can grow and everyone's experience is different everyone's story is going to be different but the fact that you took a guy like CM Punk who was who who has had a love for the sport for the for that for for the industry 
He was so passionate to the to the point where that same passion was taken away from him because of how the like the the nature of of the of the whole WWE machine and how how that has been. It drove him away to a point where you know you would probably some of you may may have seen or heard in a lot of re interviews over the years that you know it would take a lot for him to even come back and he and it almost like in a, in a sense it almost sounded like he was only ever going to make some kind of appearance or return for the money and that was it and i feel like that was almost just kind of like a scapegoat uh reason to just kind of throw out there because when you when you, when you come off like that you give people you're giving people an impression of you that yeah you're only just doing it for one thing and it, you know that love that passion that once was there is not there anymore because you're trying to make it a point that you're really not trying to do it because you're not feeling it and i'm glad that in a sense it was almost kind of like a decoy because behind all of that was just the guy from chicago that was trying to heal that was trying to make amends with you know himself and with the sport that he once also loved and had this great passion for and it all came pouring out in his promo and you know he like he said he had to feel it and at that given moment he felt it and you could tell right and it was a beautiful sight to see and and I'm not I'm not going to lie I'm going to put my own personal feelings aside from my my hardy boys coming back in 2017 right i can say with all the um the the positive energy and with all the confidence that cm punk's return to professional wrestling has been the biggest return in a very very long time for you know like i said a lot of different reasons there is life outside of wwe there are loads of opportunity outside of WWE. AEW has been showing us time and time again the possibilities and the potential at what could be because wrestling at its core is supposed to be, you know, entertaining. It's supposed to be fun, but it's it the the, the great thing is it's supposed to be fun for everybody involved. The dudes in the back, production, the stars, the talent, and the fans. It's it's like um it's a, it should and always it really should always be a two-way street and you know and that's a very healthy relationship and you know obviously being that aw is like on the cusp of its third year i think um or uh, coming up on its third year you know he obviously had to see it kind of flesh itself out and really show like you know the like what it has to offer and you know it's giving it's giving stars that freedom to even you know, cross collaborate with other promotions and just to kind of do their own thing and to stay healthy. And that's, that's, that's the big thing with AEW is that it is a very non-toxic environment. It is a very great and positive feeling environment that I can just, I can just get from the TV screen. Like I can feel that through the TV screen. And, you know, I haven't, I haven't been to an AEW show myself outside i don't know if you really count the ceo related events but i guess you could because at that point they were using some stars that um at the time were like new japan i definitely saw the new japan crossover with ceo yeah man i just wanted to really make this video and i'm not really sure if i'm gonna you know start doing more wrestling content on here if that's something that you guys would like i guess you know i'm open to hearing people and their opinions and what they might think because again like i'm i am really trying to make this channel more centric to the things and the the you know all the things and the passions that i and i have for it just really i don't i don't really see too many other wrestling related channels that do wrestling and then other things it's usually just wrestling only channels and that's it because i feel like you know personally it kind of looks a little weird when you have you know anime reactions power rangers comic book news and then wrestling like i'm yeah sure i'm like i'd be that guy to you know do all that but i don't know it seems a little messy but again let me know um any kind of suggestions whatnot i used i actually used to do a podcast for uh wrestling now that i think about it but who knows there's a lot going on um summer at the time of this recording is going on tonight but honestly i don't really i really have no idea how 
WWE is going to follow that. And I, and that's the thing. I, I feel like and the last bit I will say is that I truly believe that from this point on, all eyes are really going to be focusing on AEW. And it's not just because of CM Punk, but because they were able to essentially bring him back to where he once was as far as his love and passion for the sport and the business. It says a lot about the company. And I feel like they're just, they're honestly in it, not, you know, for themselves and obviously to turn a profit because a business is a business at the end of the day, but they are really here to truly bring back that professional wrestling vibe. And, and, and they've been, you know, they're open to working with whomever, wherever, and and at this and and obviously they they're smart and they're aware because obviously they they know that it's just it's just gonna help everybody. Those are all my thoughts. I'm I'm super happy that CM Punk is back. It really does mean a lot. Um, and I'm I'm probably gonna go back and watch his debut again and again and again. I'm I'm sure that it's <laughs> I'm sure by now it's gonna have millions of views on the AEW channel. And I'm so I'm so looking forward to seeing everything that he does in the future and with the company and i'm very excited i'm very excited and i feel like reinvigorated for wrestling and, I, and i'm very happy that i've been following with AEW, especially because you know watching wwe and how they are so they're they are so formulaically bad like they're at a point where like it's rare that they have things that you can really look forward to that are compelling that are that are really good and 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 to be honest like i love things certain things about wwe i love some of the characters and whatnot and sometimes they have done and given us really awesome stuff but you know it, it doesn't outweigh all of the negative that it has definitely brought to the the feel and the vibe of you know what the business and how it should be AEW is really for its fans and it is for wrestling wwe is kind of really just for whoever is in charge and what they think is good for everyone else. And that's that's two different levels and two different sources of energy altogether. And that's kind of where it all stands right now. So let me know your thoughts and more. Um, I'm definitely interested in seeing, you know, who even watches this video on this channel. Because again, like, you know, for all the obvious reasons that I stated before, if it's something that you guys were looking would be interested in hearing me more uh, speak more about, um, you definitely can. Uh, let me know in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter. All that good stuff. Supporting links will be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. May the power protect you. Keep it locked. Little right here on this channel. Stay safe. Stay clean. Stay inside. I will see you guys next time.